Hey everyone, uh, Cody here. I want to take you through a quick uh, little top of the funnel uh, building. One of the mistakes that a lot of people make when they're actually building out a, uh, a sales funnel or they're boosting posts is um, what they'll do is they'll generally go and boost a post and then you'll see here, you know, they'll click through all the information, they'll choose their targeting. Um, but all they're really doing at the end of the day is, is creating uh, impressions. So what I'm gonna do really quickly here is I'm gonna show you kind of how to set up a basic uh, ad campaign. Uh, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go type in in the top search engine, you're gonna type in ads manager. And this brings you to your ads manager uh, shortcuts. Uh, from there, what you'll be able to do is you can either go to business manager or what you can do is you can go to your personal account. Uh, business manager would be if you're mul managing multiple accounts. Uh, if you are looking at just running an account off of your own name, you can do that as well. So what you're literally going to do here is you're going to click there. It's going to bring you to your back office here, which essentially gives you your campaigns, your ad sets, and your ads. So when you're running ads, what you're going to be doing is you're going to click create here and it's going to give you objectives. Now within your objective, you're going to click here. You would click here and um, what would happen is you'd be able to actually physically uh, choose the ad account or choose the account that you're, you're working on. Uh, so you just want to make sure that this uh, up here uh, says the specific account that you're working on. So, you know, if I'm working on studio PTBO, for example, I would want to make sure that that says studio PTBO in the corner there. Uh, you can see here that there's a lot more options in regards to marketing objectives. So when you're running an ad uh, based on, uh, say for example, you're running an ad uh, just on boost a post, generally what happens is it's usually brand awareness or reach, that those are your marketing objectives. But you can see here, you have a bunch of other uh, options in regards to, uh, in regards to uh, setting up the campaign. So generally when you're running an ad, what they call top of funnel, we always recommend starting if you do have um, an actual video to start with. It's always great because you have a ton of retargeting options. Uh, so what you do here is you would click video views and video views would bring you to the ability to essentially name the campaign. Now, making sure that your naming conventions are super important. Uh, so what I would do here is I would go top of funnel. So this is my first video in my, in my uh, direction of series. Go top of funnel and say, for example, I wanna go video views. Uh, and I can name it um, whatever I want to there. So I can copy and paste it here. So that's my campaign name, top of funnel video views. And what I do after that is I click continue and it brings me to my ad set layer. So you can remember from the first uh, start of the actual training, uh, what you would have saw there is you would have saw ad set, you would have saw campaign, uh, ad set and ad. So what it is here is you would, uh, I can name this top of funnel video views. That's my objective. Um, and generally in the ad set column, I, it gives me the ability if you scroll down here to choose your location, you can choose your detailed targeting. So say for example, I'm a business owner and I'm looking to char uh, target um, restaurant owners. So I can name this uh, ad set restaurant owners here. I'm gonna copy that. And say for example, I'm just targeting Peterborough. I can do that, Peterborough, Ontario. I can choose that there. But the biggest thing is with your detailed targeting, you wanna get as micro as possible. So if I know my target audience is between the ages of 28 and 55, I can change that up. And then my detailed targeting, I can actually look for restaurant owner here. There you go, restaurant owner job title. Uh, so you can see my audience size is quite small. Uh, but this is what I'm trying to go after. So say for example, I wanted to increase my rate, my reach. Uh, I could increase it to 40 miles, still low. So it's still a quite low. There's not a lot of people in that audience size as far as a restaurant. Uh, so if I wanted to increase that audience, I could also look at, because I'm not going to get a whole lot of views uh, if you know there's less than a thousand people that identify. So I could you know add in, uh, you know, say for example, you know, it's A&W restaurants I'm going after. I can go restaurant owner A&W if I'm going after our franchise. And you can see here, 3,600 people are interested in that. Uh, so I would probably just want restaurant owners and then I would just want to name it A&W. And that's my top of funnel. So my objective right now is to get as many people as I possibly can to watch the video. Uh, from here, I set up my, either my daily budget or my lifetime budget. Uh, so say for example, I want to set up my lifetime budget as 50 bucks and I want to spend that $50 over the course 
of the next week um, or over the course, what is a week today, April 2nd. So I can, I can do it until April, let's say 50 bucks over a week. So April 9th, uh, it's going to spend that $50 over the course of a week. I can also choose daily budget. So if I have a daily budget, I want to spend, say for example, I want to spend $10 a day on this ad. I could do that. Uh, and then it's going to spend uh, $70 over the course of the next seven days. Uh, optimizing, depending on what you're looking through, depending on what your video is, you can see your optimization ad delivery. Uh, it all depends on what specifically your option is. You know, generally we optimize for 10 second video views. Uh, that's usually the best option. Uh, the biggest thing here, if I move up, is the placement. So that's super important. So Facebook will automatically choose the placements for you and it might not necessarily be the best option for you. Uh, so we always recommend, you know, when you're starting out to get the best high quality uh, leads for your business, uh, we recommend just advertising in the feed. Uh, so I advertise in the feed here. You know, I try to challenge people to think from a, uh, a consumer perspective, you know, where are you mainly um, seeing these ads pop up, especially top of funnel. Uh, all depends on what you're trying to do. You know, if you're trying to go for massive reach, then you can advertise everywhere and then you can uh, scale down uh, based on your um, uh, based on your middle of funnel or like the next set in the funnel. And I'll do another video on this on creating a custom audience. So I think that will be super important for you as well. You can see here, Instagram, uh, you know, you just got to remember that like your clickable links and your, what they call your ad copy is going to be not clickable in Instagram. So generally what I recommend is I recommend setting up your ads separately for Instagram, but it's totally up to you what you decide to do there. Generally when I'm setting up a campaign for us is I'll uncheck everything. Uh, just run it in Instagram feed. If it's a video under a minute, uh, you know, sometimes I'll do this as well and run it in the feed as well, uh, especially top of funnel. Uh, the next portion you go down to, you go to continue. Um, and then from here, you can choose your, your, your Facebook page. So you want to make sure you have the right page. Uh, I want to name the ad. So I'm going to name the ad restaurant owners, um, that I'm targeting. I can choose different, uh, target markets when I, in my ad name level. Uh, from there, I have my Facebook page. I choose my video. Uh, so let's just find a video here. So we'll search the page here. And we'll just use this one as an example. Uh, this is a video we posted the other day. From there, Full Service Marketing Studio, I can literally click uh, Publish here. Uh, Full Service Marketing Studio. Obviously, I would want to change my text. You know, I can just drive them right to studioptbo.com. There you go, complete marketing service. I can change my headline to read, uh, let's say, restaurant owners looking for a new marketing plan, question mark, drive them to the Studio PTBO site, and I can retarget it. We'll talk about that in another video. And I literally just click confirm. Um, so once I click confirm here, now I'm not doing this within the Studio PTBO ad account. So, but you'll see here that there, when you come back here, there's different. There, you run. This is the campaign, and within the ad set, to change the actual targeting objective, so I can see rest video views, restaurant owners, and W. Uh, once this is being done being published, I can actually go in and duplicate this ad and change out the uh, the targeting objectives to see wh what person resonates the most with my ad. And then you can see in the final section here, you can see the actual uh, campaign itself uh, that's running in the background. So now you'll be able to see if I want to change the campaign, I want to change up the targeting. I can just click duplicate and it'll literally duplicate the ad and I can change it up to whatever I, uh, whatever I want. Um, hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this will definitely help you in ads, uh, running ads in the background, uh, not just boosting a post, but being more thoughtful with uh, what we're trying to accomplish with our marketing. Uh, thanks for watching.